Hey friend, in this video, we're gonna be painting 10 cute and easy Valentine's inspired paintings. From candy hearts to a bouquet of flowers and more, we're painting 10 cute uh, Valentine's inspired paintings that you can have as a greeting card, give to your partner, your lover, your friend, or give it to your kitty or your dog. Um, so if you're ready now, let's have fun and paint these 10 cute Valentine's Day card paintings. <laughs> All right, so I have my Stonehenge Aqua 9x12 sheet of paper and I'm going to be painting 10 watercolor icons. But we're gonna start with the cute candy hearts. Think really lighthearted, playful, hand-painted version of those square valentines you used to hand out in elementary school. That's what we're going for, but way cuter. So I'm gonna grab my size six brush and we're gonna start in this left corner with three little candy hearts. And because watercolor works wet um, and you layer, once the bottom layer is dry, you layer on top of it. We're just gonna paint the hearts first. Um, but I am, I've been trying out this new color called manganese blue. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it's this really bright looking turquoise color. Bloop, 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 bloop. Super duper bright. Um, and I wanna, for my first heart, I want a really like soft, really light mint color. So I'm gonna start with my base of manganese blue and a touch of sap green, which is already on this dry well right here. So I'm just gonna add water to it to bring it back to life. And we're gonna add a touch of lemon yellow deep. That has a lot of green on top of it. Very type B. A little more manganese. So we've got a mint color, but I want it to be really light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak up this color on my brush, but then rinse off a lot of that color in my water cup and dab it on my paper towel before going to my actual paper first, so it doesn't blob. So we're going for a really cutesy, lighthearted feel with these. And it's just a simple heart, not super precise or perfect looking. We're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna layer some red text on top of it, like hug me, call me, be mine, that sort of thing. But I'm gonna also paint a yellow heart. So I've got, I'm grabbing some lemon yellow deep. And all of these candy hearts have like a really chalky look to them. So I want them to be really soft or pastel color. So I'm grabbing the color and then I'm rinsing it off in my water jar and then just dabbing the excess water so I don't have too much water on my brush when I go to the paper. This one will line up over here and kind of tilt to the left. So I'm gonna be fitting all 10. I want this yellow to be a little bit warmer, so I'm gonna grab yellow ochre. Just put a little dab in there and then I'm gonna mix it in. I want all 10 of these icons to fit on this one sheet of paper. So we are staying tight in this top left-hand corner. See how this yellow is overlapping my minty one? That is gonna be really fun. And then we're gonna have a really light pink heart kind of in the middle right here. So I'm gonna use Opera Rose for this mixture, Opera Rose and I'm not worried about the color that I'm bringing into my mixture that's already been in my dishes because it's just really thin and translucent color. Um, so I can correct it by just adding more pink or getting it to the vibe that I want. And usually happy accidents, as Bob Ross would say, happen when you just kind of go with the flow like this. So I'm adding yellow ochre to it so it's more of like a peachy pink. And then again, lightening it in my water cup and dabbing on my paper towel. We're gonna have this one overlapping here. 
so it's overlapping both of them. Make sure your hearts aren't too wet so you have a really, really thin layer of water and pigment. And the way you get that is by dabbing on your paper towel before you start painting. So you get rid of any excess water. Because if you were to overlap like this right now and you had too much water on the paper, it would all just blur and blend. All right, so I'm gonna wait for these hearts to dry. We're gonna move on to our next icon which is going to say love in script, and we're gonna have little clusters of flowers around it. So I'm gonna actually use my size two brush for this, because I don't want my font to be too thick and chunky. And these little illustrations can go on greeting cards. They can just be little squares or tags that you tie with ribbon on a gift to your Valentine. Maybe it's your mom or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your wife, or your sister or your daughter, whoever it is. So I'm actually gonna paint the script last. So I don't know why, mm, actually. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna paint the script first and I'm gonna make it like a light gray because if I'm gonna paint a really dark opaque black, the flowers won't show up how I want them to. I want them to overlap. So I'm gonna do this cute little I've got a 45-ish degree hold on my brush and I'm just bringing the tip of the brush around in this little curly cue. For lettering, you want all of your thin strokes to be upstrokes, all of your upstrokes to be thin strokes, and then all of your downstrokes, you're applying pressure so they get wide or thick. So I've got my L here up to my O. Down stroke is thick, up stroke is thin. Love. Once that dries, we'll paint flowers. And next, we're gonna paint a donut with a pink frosting. So this pink will be nice. Pink frosting and red sprinkles on top. The opening of my donut here. And then once the frosting dries, we're gonna paint our sprinkles in and the actual don the cake part of the donut. Donut. Next illustration will be a prickly pear cactus with fla heart flowers. So we're gonna paint a little cacti. Got this minty hue. I wanna tie in my color scheme so we're gonna go with the minty hue I used for this candy heart, but make it a little bit more green by adding some sap green to it, which I had sap green in my mixing well underneath, so I'm just mixing it in. And we're just gonna use the size six brush and basically press, press, and create these little teardroppies and work our way up the cactus. Kind of like a leaf stroke, but we're not coming to a point at the top of the cactus. We do have a cactus tutorial that we will link here in this video. So if you want some help with these prickly pear cacti and other cacti, <laughs> cacti. Cactuses. 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 Um, make sure you check out that video. Cactus. I love prickly pears. Nice. Mm -hmm. I 
I'm adding instead of the flowers, they're gonna be hearts. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's cute. V cute. Valentine's cute. <laughs> So we got a few little cactus seas. <laughs> to, <laughs> to work with. And we're gonna wait for that to dry and we'll add our little flower hearts, heart flowers, heart-shaped flowers. If you want, you can paint in a little pot too. I've got a brownish red mixture with Scarlet Lake and burnt umber. I'm gonna add more burnt umber to it and maybe some yellow ochre for like a clay color. And I'm just gonna go whoosh for the rim of my pot, lighten my brush. Whoosh. Just a cutie, cutie little quickie guy. Nothing fancy. Next, we are going to paint love with a heart in the center of the O. This I am going to do a dark, more opaque black. Or maybe I'll do a different color, actually. Let's do a cobalt -y color. So I'm going to grab cobalt blue and mix it in with my mint color. And a touch of pink. Kind of like a periwinkle. A dusty periwinkle, if that's even a term. So I'm gonna use a 25 to 35 degree hold on my size two brush. So I use the width of the belly of the brush and we're gonna apply pressure for the downstroke of our L. And I would typically not apply pressure on across strokes either, but for this, I do want to. So you can letter it however you want. That's too skinny to put a heart in it. Whoops. So now we're gonna put hearts here and here. And a really soft, the same peachy pink we've been using for the heart and the donut. Play around with it. You can make the V a heart. You can make your O bigger and put the heart in the O. You can make your O in a heart. Or you can do what I'm doing because we made our O too skinny. <laughs> the O cut some calories. Love is for the way you look at me. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Flower bouquet. Um, we're gonna do some dainties, dainty, dainty flowers with the size two brush. And I'm gonna do some very basic um, flower strokes by just going, pointing my brush the direction I want the petal to point and just kind of creating V shapes here and there. We'll do some peachy flowers. We'll do some yellow flowers and our green leafy, leaves col leaf <laughs> colors will be this green. Boink. 
boink, boink, boink. I don't like how yellow that is. We're gonna make it more golden. Take my heart and please don't break it, love. And this purple that we did for the situation. Maybe some boop. Nope. <laughs> Switch up our flowers, our flower types. Stems. Okay, so I got my greenish, mintyish mixed jaw. I'm gonna start from the base of these petals, these little baby petals, with a C curve. That's the tiniest bouquet <laughs> ever. <laughs> make yours a little bigger if you want, but I kind of like how dainty it is, TBH. If you struggle with painting leaves, your girl's gotcha. How many videos now? We have an ongoing series. I think There's, it's like five parts. I think we have six right now. Six parts. Six. Months. If you include the flower. Let's soak this blending situation up. You're in a silly goose mood. Man, it's late night, man. When you when you get me filming at night, I get pretty weird. What's next? All right, candy heart box. Okay, so candy heart box. We're gonna paint using this peachy-ish mixed jaw, but a little bit darker. So I'm gonna add more opera rose and more, what's it called? Yellow ochre. And we're gonna paint a heart. I'm gonna use a bigger brush. We're gonna put a ribbon on top of this. It's gonna be cute. It's all about the layers, friends. And I'm gonna grab Scarlet Lake and leave a thin gap of white space right here and just do this like moon shape. but I'm going to use my two. Okay, come back to the ribbon later. Red truck with hot balloons and back. So red truck, we're actually going to paint like a peachy truck because I like it soft and with a red bumper maybe. We'll see. So it's got this long truck bed. Remember we're going for cutesy, not Dr. Seuss, but you know, like definitely not realistic illustrations. Truck bed. The wheels will go back here. So we've got a rectangle. What's the truck look like? Okay, and then it's like a uh, door and a roof, and then this 
this one goes at an angle and then there's the hood and it comes down rounded and we'll do this and then we'll do that how's that drawn that looks great love is more than me and you And we can paint the wheels cause I like a fun bleed. Yes, I like a fun bleed. You are a <laughs> But I don't want too much of the waters. And we'll add dark red details to the car. And that's much smaller of a wheel. And heart balloons. The Scarlet Lake. Maybe some lighter ones. Because they're in the back. Lots of love in this truck. And we're gonna do uh, strings. That truck's got some balloons. <laughs> that is a statement. <laughs> That's just what I feel like I would say to myself if I saw this truck on the street. So now we're going to paint some lines, some dark red lines with Scarlet Lake and a size 2 brush. <laughs> we're going to paint a little situation here. Handles on this side, yeah. Shoink, shoink. Little love truck. Where do brake lights go? Up. Upper. Upper. That's the bumper. Okay, it's got a love bumper. It's not cute or what? So cute. And it's not very hard. That's all. That's all. That's all I'm gonna do. Um, what am I doing next? Love banner. Love. We're gonna do our light peachy situation. Lighten it with water. Use a 35 degree hold. Let's do a C curve like this. And have this square or rectangle, whatever it is. Using my size two, did I see that? And then we're gonna have a triangle for the point. Nerve. 
Once these dry, we're gonna letter on top. You can draw your string first if you wanna follow the line, but I like the on the edge. E is very, very extraordinary. I used to think that that song, instead of it being extraordinary, it was just extra space ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> like, just super, super boring. Super ordinary. <laughs> super normal. <laughs> you are extra ordinary. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think you are extra ordinary. Basic. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna grab some of this Mars Black, dab it a little bit. Let's do a little lip curl. Curl. I like that curl side better than that side. So do something more like that. Wait for that to dry. And our next and final illustration is an envelope with a heart seal. Let's do multiple envelopes so we fill it out kind of like this trio. Mint first. It's going to be tilted like these. We're just doing a rectangle. You've got mail. <laughs> Boom. Blend, you sucker. Sucker, sucker, there we go. Opera Rose, this one had a little more yellow ochre in it than the banners. And then this was my mint color with manganese blue and some sap green and yellow, lemon yellow deep. And then once this dries, we're gonna paint in a little triangle with a heart seal. But now that these are dry up here, I can use my size two and put in the detail. So we're gonna do red letters on our candy hearts. It's gonna be so cute. We're gonna say, what are we gonna say? Hug me. Be mine is kind of classic. Not going for perfection here, just going for extraordinary, <laughs> extra cute. Maybe add a little pink to your red. Hug me. Hot layups. And for love, I'm gonna have a cluster of flowers in this bottom right hand corner. We're gonna do roses. I'm gonna use Scarlet Lake, a thick mixture of it, so not too wet. And a vertical hold, so pointing straight up and down for a rose. If you need help painting roses, we have a good flower tutorial for you that shows you how to do these bad boys. We're just doing these tiny C curves. Maybe a little more pink for this next one. And then my 
third line from right here. Some sap green. And maybe a touch of black. I like my rose leaves to be a dark green. Again, if you need help with leaves, check out our many, many, many tutorials. But basically what I'm doing is I'm using the 45-ish degree hold on my brush, and then I'm putting pressure on the brush, dragging it towards the handle of the brush and releasing that pressure at the tip. So you, whatever direction you want the leaf to point, you also want your brush handle to point. So my leaf is gonna go this way I'm going to apply pressure and release. I want to mirror this branch on this side, but a little shorter. And there we go. And then for our donut, we're going to grab Scarlet Lake for our sprinkles using a size two brush. All I need is the belly of the brush, so I'm just going to plop it, plop it, plop it, plop it, plop it, plop it. I'm just switching up the angle so it's sprinkled on randomly. Is there a good Valentine's phrase for this? What do you mean? Like. You know, like some silly little Valentine's phrase. Um, donut, you don't, wanna be my donut. Valentine. Mm -hmm. Instead of don't, donut, donut. It's a stretch. Yeah, it's stretch. Okay, so we're gonna grab yellow ochre now and a touch of burnt amber for the cakey part of our donut and a lot of water. So then I'm going to dab it on my paper towel. And just like the heart box over here, we're gonna have a little sliver of paper between. That's too beachy. And then right here. I'm not a huge donut fan, TBH. I have a donut like once every year. Year, like literally <laughs> once a year. But I think I enjoy it. I can have like a couple bites of donuts and then I get a headache. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's our donut. Okay, moving on to our heart-shaped flowers. Prickly pear, cactus, cactuses have um, floral flower blooms, but this time they're gonna be hearts. Okay, while you're painting these hearts, we have to think of a nice Valentine's phrase for a cactus. We kind of failed on the donuts. Mm. Although, donut, you want to be mine. That's yeah, a stretch. It's just such a mouthful. It's a mouthful. Prickles my hearts. Tickles my hearts. You, you, uh, you prickle my heart. Dude, we're, we're bad not at good at the greeting card business. Nope. Hallmark, do not hire us. <laughs> Absolutely do not. Mm. It's a very cute. Just card. say no to pricks. It's for your gal. Galentine's Day card. <laughs> it's a girl giving it to one of her friends. Uh -uh. Oh, gal. And maybe she has a bad history of dating pricks. <laughs> Dude, that's actually pretty good. Just say no to pricks. As a, as a Galentine's. Here for you when love hurts. Oh, that was good. Hallmark, sign up. Oh, Jenna. okay. Hallmark, sign me. What did, What was it? Here for you when love hurts. Dude. That's well, actually pretty good. Nobody steal that. I've already copyrighted it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That Okay, that's the winner for that one, obviously. Okay, XO. I also want a ribbon on it, though. Maybe I don't.
just using the tip of my size two. And we're gonna do these little stitch markies as a border. Dude, I'm freaking stoked about my phrase for that one. That's so good. I'm honestly, I'm still thinking about that donut. I'm trying to get a good donut one. Your love is better than a donut, a sunday. Or you could just put like your sweet. Yeah, your sweet. So I'm using the same red color for Diaz. like a semi slant on my hold so I'm not getting super skinny scraggly letters. They're like a little bit, a little wide, but not too wide. Now we are gonna paint our envelope flaps, thin line. I'm gonna use for this peachy one, I'm gonna use my peach base that I already have, but add a little bit more paint of each from each color to it so it's thicker and darker. And then we're gonna cram here. Ooh, red flap. Oh no, man, I'm just liking the stitching. I was pattern. just gonna say, you're stitching everything right now. Uh, it's just a cute, like, kind of vintage look. It's a good, cute, vintage vibe. And it's only little details, but those little details really make the illustration pop. Mm. And look extra cute. <laughs> Same thing with this color, just gonna add more manganese blue, more sap green. yellow. I'm adding black to this mixture because I don't know. I feel like it. It's like a more smoky green for the cactus. So same that I've been doing for the stitching pattern and the sprinkles. It's like sprinkles on the cactus. Ouch, love hurts. If there was a big bite out of the donut, you could say love bites, but there's not a bite out of the donut. Dang, that is a good idea. Dude, we're Hallmark geniuses. I mean, I don't know if I'm genius status yet, but that would be kind of cool. I think we're genius. Okay, and now for the final situation. Our hearts, our heart seals on the corner of these envelope flaps. Cute. So cute. And there you have it. 10 cute Valentine's illustrations that you can make your own. Make your own gift little taggies or gift cards, greeting cards, postcards. Send them in the mail, put them on a Prezi. Well, bam. I hope you had fun with that. This is a fun way to maybe send a card to somebody who you haven't seen in a while. If you're watching this, during this is early 2021 when we're filming this we just had a year of lockdowns and quarantines because of coronavirus so it could be fun to send some love in the mailbox to somebody you haven't seen in a long time or someone you haven't seen not you know just because of coronavirus but because they live in a different country or different part of the country than you and it's hard to hard to see people these days I hope you had fun. Let me know in uh, the comments below which of the 10 illustrations was your favorite to paint or which of the 10 was the most challenging for you to paint. 
and I'll see you in the next video.